I sat in my bed and watched that game. My wife's like, are you going to get up today? I was like, uh, are you going to get up today? No, I'm going to watch soccer. Okay. <laughs> I watch soccer four times or one time every four years and it's right fucking now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to 100X. I'm back with my man, Tony Sharp. You already know my name, Marco Hollywood Pamani. Give us the intro, buddy, please. Uh, it's your Uncle Sharp. You know, leave a question, comment, concern. Sharp. We see a lot of your concerns. Yeah, uh, Sharp. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, leave a five-star review. Uh, you know, we appreciate anything you do, whether you share, watch, listen. Uh, just, it's all beautiful. We love it. If you hate, the best part about you is you talk about me when you hate me. So keep it up. Thank you. Love you. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> they said they wanted me to talk about how we did. There's not a we in this situation. Tony Sharp, you fucking <laughs> Jordan flu gamed the fucking hundred X show last week. Talk to me. I even had guys say, Hey Marco, we love you. We want to meet you, but we want Tony Sharp's fix this week. No offense. I said, Hey, you know what? I never take offense to my brother when he does good. So talk to me. What went through your head? Do you bet the Patriots every week or is this just a kind of a thing? <laughs> I do like the Patriots. Uh, I like what they're able to do. I even kind of sort of like them this week. We'll get into it. I'm not 100% sold as usual. Uh, Patriots are, have, have been good to me, uh, and the Patriots are good when they play against the Jets and in meaningful ball games. So I really like them. Uh, I looked, obviously, at the Carolina Ravens game, took the under in that. Okay. I know Carolina has no ability to score whatsoever. Uh, I know that the Ravens like to uh, utilize the ground game, so that was kind of my my answer there mm -hmm. um you look good yeah i appreciate it cause i mean you just everything you bet except for the packers the packers i mean you nailed the niners they fucked me nailed... honestly on a thursday night at home in a freezing cold weather i just expected them to play better but it is official i will never bet them again Ugh, and i, I know. and i do think they suck I, you know what they suck but you know what at any time a great quarterback could wake up and fuck you up and i think they play the eagles this week which you just never know I mean, I agree. It's a seven point line. We'll get into that game. Yeah. But I do want you guys to know something because you brought up a good point. Talk to me. There is no me uh, without you in this show. And that's what I love the most. So you guys wow. could say whatever the fuck you want. What a class. Act. You could say anything in the uh, comments. You could say anything in the messages. But one thing's for sure. This is the 100 X club, club, which means it consists. This is the club. Us and, two, then and then you, you if you win. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way it's going to be. So I love you. Let's talk about Mahomes real quick. That was the first topic of the night. Um, can he be stopped in crunch time? Um, I'm going to I'm going to speak a little boldly here. I I do think Mahomes is great. Yeah. But the San Diego defensive line is a disaster right now. An absolute disaster. It's easy to shred when you have no threat. So that's my opinion. Take care of your mic, kid. We almost lost a mic. Yeah. Um, but no, that's my opinion. Like when you don't have a defensive line rushing, it's easy to look like Superman. I have news for you. If they played a team like the Niners, like what I saw yesterday, he wouldn't be able to do that shit. So he wouldn't be like doing that. In my opinion, I get, no, and I I get that they crushed them already. I'm not like, listen, uh, we're on the same page here, but it wouldn't be as easy easy is what I'm trying to say. So what do you think? No, I agree because in a game like that, there's a lot of backyard ball going on, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, spinning out of the pocket, yes. you know, lofting balls over, you know, the, the second line of defense uh, linebackers and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, you're looking at a team that's a, that's wounded as far as pass, ru yeah. pass rush is concerned. Um, and realistically, I think personally, uh, last year, I, I didn't feel this way. This year, I'm starting to feel this way. I think a lot of teams have the charges figured out because I think their coaching is poor. Yeah, it, you know what's hard is is they had a lot of injuries on receiver. Um, they don't they have a, a running game, but it's not like totally effective because their running their main running back is actually like a little bit of a slot receiver. It's a tricky game. I still love the Chargers. Um, the next one we want to talk about is the Dallas Cowboys. For those of you that have known me for years, know that I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. Um, I haven't been riding the train as much this year as I have because ever I used to bet them every week. It used to be like my Bears bets. It used to be every, I don't care what it was if they were. Playing plus seven, minus seven, minus 12. I was on them. Um, but I will tell you, that is the best value for Super Bowl picks right now, period. Period. They are 11 to one. It is a great pick to take. They have the defense. They have the offense. It's actually a really unique bet. It's probably the team that I like the most. I just, I hate betting the team that I like because because that means other people my, like them my, too, right? My fandom comes into play there and that's what I don't like. What do you think? Here's the bottom line. 
If you're going to look at Super Bowl teams in the past and you're going to compare them to what you have currently right now with the Cowboys. It's similar. It's very similar. Yeah. It's really, 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 really good pass rush. It's the ability to stop the run. And most importantly, they are running the shit out of the ball. Absolutely. They've struck gold with Tony Pollard. Oh. Uh, their team is light years better on offense. This guy has explosive ability once he gets past the first level. Uh, I do think they should keep incorporating Zeke in on, on certain downs. Third and one, uh, third exactly. and two. Third and one, second and the four. The violent type of downs exactly. is Zeke's time. Yeah. Um, but the explosive downs is Pollard. I've been saying it all year. The Cowboys will be as good as Tony Pollard is because he creates mismatches all over the field. Like, if you cover him with your fast guy, then you're leaving a receiver open. There's just so many reasons why I love him. Um, what was something else they wanted to talk about? Um, so let's get into San Fran. So San Fran is shooting upwards. They're taking over a division that is typically pretty tough uh, in the NFC West. But as you could see, those other three teams, uh, two teams are definitely falling off. Yeah. One team, uh, Seattle, a lot of people have been waiting for them to fall off this year. And that's going to be this week. Seattle's going to fall down this week. They're going to lose to the Raiders. That's one of my plays this week. Personally, I am taking the Raiders plus three and a half. Um, I probably will take a money line too, but I like them plus three and a half against Seattle. Now back to the San Francisco team. Um, I, this is another instance where they're going to go as far as Jimmy G can take them. And the Jimmy G that I saw yesterday was the real Jimmy G. It was oh. the old school, throw the nuts over his shoulder and take care of it. But there's going to be times where he's going to need to like have pressure. He had no pressure. The line on that game was 10. I guess sportsbooks wanted to give money away yesterday. Like, I don't. Listen, I had it was so the trappy, last leg I didn't of my it. par, so right? Like, ah, it should be like For 14. San Fran. Yeah. When I saw Colt McCoy was taking the helm I know, in I Mexico. Like, I'm like, 10? I'm like, mm, I'm going to win. Yeah, so. A Colt, a Colt McCoy cannot go against a pass rush and defense like that. I'm going to blow your mind. Win. The current score in that game was, uh, it was at halftime. If you're watching the game, it was, I think, what was it, 14 to 10? Or no, 17 to 10. Correct. At half. At halftime, the live line, minus 21 or 22 and a half, was plus 600. <laughs> I was staring at it like this. I was staring at my wife. <laughs> I was staring at my kids. I was promising them I wouldn't gamble tonight. Uh -huh. Boy, I put 10 G's on that because I just couldn't help it. 165 <laughs> dimes. But I was mad because I didn't put like a, you know, a, like a full 100 on. I was mad at myself, but it was a nice win. I just walked away kind of salty. Like, uh, <laughs> boy, they look real good. Fucking 65,000 in the ass. And you know what? And that brings up a great point, even though it's, you know, we're joking about it. You see plus 22, plus 600 at half in a game where the- Minus 22 and a half. Right, minus 22 and a half, plus 600, and a team that really wasn't doing all that much better than their all opponent All I can think about is, is, is if they score a touchdown to start the, start the half, which they did, I go, it's going to open the game up, and that's exactly what happened. They won by 28. I wonder what the line would have been at 27 and a half. It probably would have been plus 1,200. So, uh, 100%. So, let me tell you what my theory on the Niners truly is. Let's hear it. The Niners will only go as far- as their coach. Oh, you think coach, I think quarterback. See, I think coach, and I'm going to tell you why. And I agree with you to some degree when it comes to the I'm quarterback listening. position. I'm listening. I'm listening. But when it comes to the coaching position, you have a coach here who, by the way, I've went over this with you before. You don't like him. You don't like him. Don't I fake it. I don't like how he coaches in the big game. Um, well, yeah, 28 3, he's the OC. He should really, honestly, big games, he should call it, I mean, he should go channel his father. 28-3. He should channel He's the OC. He throws the ball the entire second half, throws his team out of the Super Bowl as an OC in ATL. I remember that. Then he's in the Super Bowl up 10 in the fourth. I had the Patriots, by the way. Yeah, me too. 28-3. Super Bowl up 10 in the fourth. Uh-huh. Threw the ball. Threw the ball again. Picked. Yeah. Change of events, big plays for but Casey. But time out. That's because he believed in above average quarterbacks. And that's my point this year. So does he? did he learn his lesson? Maybe he did. Last night, Debo Samuel in jet motion, the throw, handoff, Elijah Mitchell bro, running the, the ball. The throws I'm seeing, I'm pretty sure that I saw you throw in high school. I'm pretty sure you could throw those throws. I am telling you right now, 
if the coach sets his mind yes. to a lucrative multiple back athletic run game. Do we know what their current odds are to win the Super Bowl? I do not know. Uh, we're going to find out, but keep they going. have to run the ball with all of those guys, Mitchell, McCaffrey, Debo, Brandon Ayuk's an athlete on jet sweep motion. Ayuk is the most underrated player on that team. Every time that guy touches the ball, I feel like he, he in his mind, he runs like someone's trying to take his job. I mean, he's so violent. He is. They're seven to one. The, the Niners are seven to one to win the Super Bowl. Um, that reminds me a lot of my, my Rams pick last year. Um, Watch that closely. Yeah, I... I they're going to run the fuck out of the ball. I'm telling you, they are not going to make that same mistake. But if they they're run into a run team that deep. stops the run, that's when Jimmy's going to have to perform. That's correct. And everyone, you need to remember, playoff defense is different than regular week defense. The, there's a whole different level of athleticism that's shown during the playoffs. And I have news for you. It, there will be a team that stops that run. Will Jimmy be able to throw for to, to, and score him 24 points to win the game? They're going to have to run out. the ball effectively to work off a of play action because I agree with you. He is not going to throw you into the Super Bowl. And from Bowl. a coaching perspective, he's actually really creative because he's not putting McCaffrey in these situations to get hurt. He only ran the ball, I think, seven times last game. And he's like saying, you know what? Like, you like to play outside the tackles and we're not going to put you in positions to get hurt anymore. So smart. Um, all right, next. Uh, New York teams. Hey, New York. Uh <laughs> Back to reality. I saw the reality a little earlier in the season. It didn't pay off for me. I got beat up a little bit going against the New York teams. But um, you need to get rid of Zach Wilson. Yep. Period. And uh, Get rid of Daniel Jones. No, I like Daniel Jones. You want to know what I think they you need? Do? I think they need receivers, buddy. Yeah, I mean, listen, they did have uh, their star receiver get hurt this year. They need they need receivers. That, that changed actually, the script a lot. I think the, I think the Giants are better than the Jets. That's my professional, like, professional opinion. Uh, you're not going to agree with it, but that's how I feel. No, I don't know. I feel like maybe those teams are exactly the same, both poor on offense, both really good on D. I would hate to go against Daniel Jones because this guy has really proven that he could run the ball. Oh, he's and, he's an and then, athlete. And then There's you, no doubt about that. If you spy him, then you can't spy. Like, it's just, they're, they're actually a disaster to cover inside the tackles. They're easy to cover on their on their receivers, and that's why I think that's what you know they need what? to do. I actually just thought about it. Mm -hmm. I actually agree with you that the Giants are a better team because I would say that their defense is probably on the same playing field as the Jets. They got slapped However, last week. Yeah. However, on offense, yes. they have Saquon, and the Jets had Brees Hall, and Brees Hall went away, I like Brees and Hall. the Jets went away too. It feels like it. Um, okay, let's. We're, you know what? We're going to take a little bit of a twist here. They wanted us to talk about Thanksgiving. We're going to get there. We're going to talk about World Cup. Let's talk about the I, Cup. Okay, I don't know soccer very well. I have had an absolute blast talking to friends that do know soccer. Um, our main man uh, that uh, does all of our editing and does our videos, Edgar, he's got his uh, Mexico jersey on. Um, when he walked in, I said, I know so many Mexican people, and they are the best people in the world. They close anywhere they go. But these guys couldn't close the door to put a goal in there fucking today if they begged it. I sat in my bed and watched that game. My wife's like, are you going to get up today? I was like, uh, are you going to get up today? No, I'm going to watch soccer, okay? I watch soccer four times or one time every four years, and it's right fucking now. I'm like an expert. I walk around. I'm like, oh, yeah, offsides. Yeah, he fucking, they got to start closing. On the, they got to come through the back. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. You're that guy? I, I, I'm that guy that's starts to act like he knows soccer. I'm like, hey, Paolo, take him out of the game. I know this flopping's out of control, and I get it. You got to, like, sell calls, but I don't know. So wait, let, let's talk soccer. I'm going to flip the sheet over because this is there's some topics they wanted to talk about. Okay. Um, bets for USA versus England. I'm fucking from the United States. Who are you taking? I'm from the United States, Fuck too. Fuck England. And they, if you put the revolver to my um, head, I'm taking England. Fuck England. I'm, I'm taking England because they're experienced, and they play soccer. You know what? Fuck England. <laughs> I don't care if I'm Marty Mush for the fucking, uh, and I love you, Marty. We're friends. Uh, but I, I don't care if, if I have to take the U.S. and be embarrassed. I like the U.S. I back my country. I, I'm an I'm a America first type of guy, and I'm taking the United States against England. England tried to steal our country from us, and fuck them. That's how I feel, period. That's what the history books told me. <laughs> you're fucking it. You're one of the, you kind of look English. I am not English. He, I am not even English. English. Guys, I am not 1% English. Actually, this, oh my God, your eyes even looking. I feel like 
I feel like he's conspiring against me. Um, all right, you know our picks there. Uh, World Cup winners. Okay, I'm going to kick this off. There is a gentleman, uh, D Forte on Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll find it so we could flash it up on the screen. But he has a $26 bet to win 500, I think 57,000. He's a hey, D Ford's is his name? This D Forte or whatever. This guy's been I, spanking you, bro. bro. Spank. Gain. I've been bro. He is backhand spanking right now. He's, I, I walked in about an hour ago. He's been talking about been, D4's been, fucking parlay. I've been talking He's, about you nonstop. <laughs> I love this guy. Um, I am so excited to to like root for. I, I rooted for France harder than I rooted for the, probably the United States against England. I want this guy to hit his parlay so bad. That would be my pick because I want to back this guy. Who's your pick? First and foremost, you got to show me that ticket because I want to root got, for this for this guy. Too. It's incredible. Awesome. It's fucking incredible. I'm going to take France to win it all. No surprise. Oh, God. So if you're going to ask me if I didn't have this guy in my DMs and I didn't like him, I'm not going to lie. After the loss to Saudi Arabia today, I probably would sprinkle a little honey honey on the Argentina team because fun fact after. Yeah. Can you talk about. Yes. So this is actually I don't know if this is conspiracy, but wait till you hear this one. I was reading and it was an official website and I dug into it a little bit. Messi is an official ambassador of the Saudi Arabia like the country of Saudi Arabia. Now, I'll tell you this. If I'm getting fucking paid to be an ambassador for a country, I'm going to let them win. So all I'm going to say is, is I'm not saying it's a controversy or it's weird. I mean, Messi's got more money than Jesus probably right now. He don't need the money. <laughs> but maybe he wanted to keep his relationships strong. <laughs> Something tells me he might have just not pushed, you know, his little legs as good as he could. What do you think? <laughs> well... It's hard to say as a guy who's an ambassador that there isn't some sort of collusion going on there. Yes. Uh, there's been a lot of weird events surrounding um, the entirety well, of the Well, I whole think it was all a big distraction. They're like, oh my God, Qatar is trying to bribe Ecuador, right? And we all know like Ecuador players could probably use the money. We had better guys who are doing this better, uh, a part of the better team. Yes. They're doing the better, like, World Cup. Did yeah. You, did you catch that? Yeah. Th those guys were about to scratch, claw, and murder each other for Qatar about three so days that's ago. That's what I'm saying. So there was a lot of controversy that popped up. <laughs> I looked up some of the Ecuador players. Like, they're good players, but, like, if you're, they're, they're, we're talking about millions of dollars they were being offered. That's what those, the rumor was, right? <laughs> of course. So in my head, I was like, something tells me it wouldn't be this obvious. So I, I, my friends actually bet Ecuador in that game, and they won easy, 2-0, if I'm not mistaken. Am I correct about that? So they won 2-0, and I was like, okay, I should have thought this out further. Oh, take it, the richest country in the world, Saudi Arabia, just came along and fucking won as the biggest underdog in World Cup history. I'm the clown now, because I had something that I would have bet. So I don't know. Little controversy for I you. I just think that soccer is one of those things where any team on any given day, once you get into like that, you know, that sweet spot the of mix. the teams that are left, yeah, uh, can we, get caught with their we pants call, down. We at call any it any time. given Sunday, yeah. right? And I, I guess any given day with soccer. Because think about it: if you play defense and you force that tie, yeah. It could it, it could mean so much in a tournament as, where these points as a non, are consistently as a adding non, up. I'm, I can't say I'm a soccer fan because I'm not, but this tie shit's killing me. Oh, it's killing me. I like I'm an addict for for goals. Like when they <laughs> score, I'm like, Golazo, <laughs> signore! Like I like and let me tell you something. I only want to listen to Mexican broadcasts and sports the rest of my life. Oh, I love when they do the Mexican Period. broadcast. White broadcasters suck. I want more <laughs> Latinos announcing games. I don't care if they even do it in English. Even their English, like, pump-ups Maybe better. start mixing in a couple of those shkadal from that other uh, network. What is that? <laughs> What's that network called? What is it? What is it, Edgar? That network where they put the smoking hot broads on there on the weather. I mean... Huh? Telemundo? Oh, Telemundo, for I, Christ's sake. Listen, I'm not a sex addict Take like it this guy. Easy. I want to hear the, the, the old school Mexican <laughs> Go! Like, that's what I want. I do want to hear that yeah, guy. That's what I want to But feel. then I want to see some broad say, hey, listen, it's going to be 85 in Mexico City today. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my booty. Okay. Um, so, do we think that the United States will make it out of their group? Tied Wales, going to get. I think they're going to get beat by England, and then uh, they're going to have to fucking throttle I think, uh, the Iranians. I think uh, the United States, just for the, the sheer like uh, respect, needs to make it out of their group. That's my opinion. I agree. 
but they have to throttle the Iranians if they lose to England. Yeah. And that means that real, I mean, real USA, you got to fucking dig deep and you got to pull out a win here, man. Yeah. I mean, you're right. It's an, enough's enough now that like USA isn't in the mix. Everyone I talked to said that England nation. already won. We need to be we need to be fucking in there. Everybody man. already told me that England already won against us. Like it's over. I know. And that's like I don't know. Like I, like are we that bad? Like do we not have the talent? We're the best at everything in the world. The do problem we not is have the, guys? the problem is we just pull from these you know MLS superstars and there's nothing wrong with them. They're amazing players. But these guys overseas are getting paid the big bucks and they're playing on these Premier League teams and yeah, you well, know these give different me some teams of that. and give it's me some just of that. we're not mixing any of those type of players into the USA roster. Well, I'm gonna, really. This is a this is a little bit a of little an, bit. This but is not an announcement to the marquee world. guys. You should love the United States because if we just buckled down and only focused on soccer, we'd whoop your ass and everything else too. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's, th that's my opinion. That is okay. true. Yes. We got baseball, basketball, football. Now we got fucking pickleball. These fucking athletes. I'm like, don't. You're not an athlete pickleballer. Okay. You're a fucking basketball <laughs> player. Okay. Like I'm <laughs> pickleball. I'm so tired of hearing about that. Um, okay. We're gonna go back to. Um, we're gonna go back to football. We're gonna flip it. Flip it. Play a little flippy cup here. Thanksgiving Day. Um, one of my Cause let me days. do a little something before we get into our personal Thanksgiving oh, go, picks and whatnot. Go 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 go. So there's gonna be a cool opportunity. You're gonna be able to win a hundred k. Wow. On the better app. Wow. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take a look. Dig, dive deep into these three matchups uh, on Thanksgiving Day, and you're gonna have to hit up the app, and you're gonna have to go ahead and say how many. Uh, passing no, yards, Josh say, you to, In the app, you have to guess. Right. Click it in there. Uh, you're going to get to choose how many passing yards Josh Allen's going to have, uh, how many rushing yards Saquon Barkley's going to have in his uh, Thursday matchup, That's cool. and then the uh, Justin Jefferson receiving yards mm. in his Thanksgiving matchup. So what we're going to do is for you... This is going to be a total long shot, as you can imagine. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and kind of give what we feel collectively before the show. We put some Matt, stuff together. It's simple. You want to win a fucking hundred thousand? This is the way you're going to win a hundred thousand. You're going to guess Josh Allen's pass yards, Justin Jefferson's receiving yards, and what is it, Saquon Barkley's rush yards? Correct. You guess those three exactly. I'm going to fucking drive a hundred thousand to you. I'm going to hand it to you. Bang, bang, bang. And I'm going to make fucking better. Give you a Rolex too, because if you can guess those three. <laughs> You deserve a lot more than a hundred thousand. <laughs> That's my professional opinion. Okay, I, I'm speaking my mind. I'll probably get an email. Do not insult the giveaways that better get. I'm just saying it should be a little juicier. So we're gonna give a rolly away too. A 10G value. Too bad you're gonna live with it. Better. I love you. Um, I love. My, I love better. I love the Marco Pomani, man of the people. Yeah. No, seriously, uh, I'm. I'm actually a little. He shook. looks like a sweepstakes attorney right about what are now. Your, what's your yardages? <laughs> I'm gonna me your go picks. ahead and take Allen. For 323 yards. Oh, 323. Just because I feel like it. Okay. What about Saquon's rush I'm going to take him for 93 yards. 93 yards against the... That yeah. makes sense. Just because I feel like it. And uh, the last one, Justin Jefferson's reception yards. I'm going to take him for 97 yards. That means that they'll probably win the game then. Because if he has 97 receiving yards, it opens things up. I think he's going to have somewhere between 90 and 100. Okay. Fair enough. Is that fair? Fair. 90 and 100. Fair. Um, we'll see. I think personally, and we'll get into it, uh, which will transition us into our Thanksgiving discussions. Okay. Um, I think before we really dive deep, I think that the Minnesota Vikings are going to have to run the fuck out of the ball uh, really efficiently to win the game this week. I think that the Minnesota Vikings win the game. I'm not betting it. I would probably live wager it because I think at some point the Patriots will have a lead. And if I like a side I kind and I don't love it, I kind of like to wait. Like Jacksonville played KC a couple weeks ago. I got them plus 14 and a half. Half. Um, and I know that that was a like the margins. I could have probably even gotten 20, but I got 14 and a half. So you're going to be proud of me. Let's hear it. I'm not taking New England this weekend either. Wow. I'm not taking anybody in that game. Wow. That game is conflicting that's, for me. A lot of emotion. That's it's actually two teams that I love this year. Actually insane. Now to go to the next game, um, I like the Cowboys, but I don't like the Cowboys minus nine. I just, I struggled to take a line that large on a national platform like Thanksgiving. That's tricky to me. It's very, very, very tricky, especially um, these. This is a divisional matchup for yeah, the Cowboys, yeah. number one. Number two, they often play on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And as a Cowboy fan, you know, um, they haven't really always 
perform the best on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. What I will tell you about this game, though, is Dallas, uh, fun fact, 16-7 and seven uh-huh. against the Giants over the last 23 games. Wow. I do think Dallas uh, covers the nine points. You do? I do. Wow. I do. That's pretty impressive. I think that Dallas is somebody's going... Somebody's beeping saying Somebody's hi. beeping. <laughs> we... Somebody's beeping saying hi <laughs> as we do our show. Uh, we like when people say hi, but don't bother me during my show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucking on air right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm leading Dallas. I think they're going to heat up Daniel Jones, number one. And number two, the play that I really like in this game is it. the under at 48. Wow. Okay. And you're going to say, wow, these, these, these teams can, you know, put some points together here and there, especially uh, Dallas. And I really think that Dallas is going to have a defensive, just an absolute assault again, and they're going to hold the Giants to minimal points. That's all, just a lot of points on Thanksgiving. With that being said, I am going to take Buffalo plus the 10, or I'm, I'm going to take uh, Detroit plus the 10 against Buffalo. Um, I really like the, this Lions team. I know they give up a lot of points, but I just think 10 on Thanksgiving at home um, on Thanksgiving Day. Just, I'll take 10. You know what? Detroit, an experienced Thanksgiving team. Yeah. They do play hard at home. They do. Uh, especially in those Thanksgiving unis. Now, There's a I, lot of camaraderie. I wouldn't be surprised to see them down by 20 and try to make a push to come back. And then squeeze like back for 10. Right. I'm just saying I can see them um, covering 10. And I think the line's going to move to 11, frankly. It's already moved from 9 to 10 within a day. So. I'll tell you what. I I am going to lean on plus 10 for Detroit uh -huh. for the sole fact that I think everybody you know yes. is going to be on the Bills. I get it. And um, the Bills didn't even look that good against Cleveland. The score tells you differently, but... They did not look good Cleveland at all. Cleveland was on their own 30-yard line. Or, or they drove down to the 33 times and didn't get any points out of it. Um, Cleveland should have won that game, truthfully. They just... Their coaching They had opportunity. Sucks. Their coaching's horrible. Their coach, I, Stefanski, if, they, if he's not fired... Uh, and you know what's crazy is I know what he keeps saying is to ownership. Give me back... Give me Watson and we're going to win games. I know. And he's, you know what? He's probably right. But you need to coach with what you got. And if I, if I had the team that they had, I promise you we'd be 500. Yeah, that's another team that even with Jacoby Brissett at QB currently. That team's killed they me They don't year. run the ball Two enough. teams have killed me this year, and it's embarrassing, is Browns and Arizona. Um, over the last four weeks, those two teams have, like, slapped me in the dick. And I, I'm going from having great weeks to okay weeks, which okay is not bad, right? But... It, that's the difference between right, a great week right. and a bad it's week. It's that one or two pops. Yes. It's the one or two pops, and it's driving me Which we often crazy. get criticized for. Um, so I think we covered absolutely everything for you. My bet of the week, let's talk about it. What's your bet of the week? So my bet of the week is going to be another par. Okay, it's going to be a, just a two-team par. Okay. It's going to be the Eagles on the money line. No surprise there. I think the Eagles are going to murder. Do you? I do. Okay. So I'm going to give you a really weird one. But let me give you the second part of that. Sure. And I, I'm going to take the under 47 mm -hmm. in the Chiefs game, believe it or not. Under 47 in the Chiefs game. Who I see the Chiefs being able to score. Okay. I see their opponent, who is... I'm listening to you. The Rams. Sorry, I, had a blank, I drew a blank there. The Rams not being able to score for a couple of reasons. Stafford is in concussion protocol yet again. Um, oh. Uh, yeah. So on top of that, um, people criticize the Chiefs' defense because their offense is so good. I get that. The Chiefs' defense going up against a non-Matt Stafford Rams, uh, let alone a horrible, horrible, horrible offensive line with Chris Jones in the middle, who's going to absolutely dictate that entire game. I think the Chiefs are going to score... Uh, not in boatloads as I look for Bobby Wagner to be matched up on Kels, um, as well as, you know, you got Ramsey and some other really good components, uh, Aaron Donald on the defense, yep. uh, who, who are going to get stops, but yeah. ultimately they're not going to score points. I'm going to give you my, my picks. Um, there's two of them. My favorite pick of the week is the Raiders. Plus, um, I think it's four now, actually, from what I'm saying. It's plus four at minus 120, and it's plus 165. So I either like the Raiders this week, and I'm going to give you the twisted one, and it's the Jaguars over the Ravens. The Jags have a defensive line to stop the run game for Baltimore. So that's an ML play. So I, I kind of like for a little bit of a like a long. What is the line on that game? Once it, both are well, plus one sixty five. Both are plus plus. Uh, both of them are plus four for each game. One of those two games, one's winning. Like, I'll tell you what. 
I'll One's t- winning. Guys, Jacksonville in no way, shape, or form is a plus 165 ML team in a game like that. Yeah. So they could definitely win a game so like that. So if it, it, like a parlay that I like is taking those two together. And parlaying those two together, if you parlay them at the money line, it's plus 605, I think, or plus 650. If you take them on the money lines on its own, it's just a two-team normal payout par. Um, But I really recommend checking those two games out. My favorite is the Raiders, though, out of the two. My favorite's the Raiders beating the Seahawks. The whole country will be on the Seahawks, and the country goes right. I go left. Um, I love Derek Carr, by the way. You know what? Um, I think Antonio Brown called him Derek Carb, right? And did you see his response? And I love carbohydrates. So give me some of that carp. He said, we're eating good tonight after that W. Did you see that? <laughs> he, he fired back with a little quick I one. Like I like it. I like it. They've had a down year, but I got news for you. They're just a couple plays away from being, you know. Did you watch his team. press conference? He's a classy dude. That's a classy guy. Classy guy. With heart. Yeah. Who wants a win? I have news for you. If Derek Carr was on the Niners this this year, they'd be minus two. They'd be like minus 110 to win the Super Bowl. Can I tell you something about Derek Carr before we it. go? Derek Carr has thrown 15 touchdown passes. Yep. He's only thrown five interceptions. Yeah. His QBR is at 92. Yeah. And he's thrown for 3,500 yards without Darren Waller in the lineup for most of the season. And Renfro. And Renfro. Yeah. And a bad team. Yeah. And guess what? A bad coach. You don't like again. their coach. Fuck. I sucks. think coaching is at that a... That guy sucks. Josh Mc... That guy's the biggest There's... crook motherfucker in the game. Let me tell you something. He sat and rode the coattails of Tom Brady, and then people sat there and said, oh, I, like I think Brady's doing good because Belichick's the coach. Then McDaniels goes over there. He can't win a fucking game with a star-studded I'm gonna Raiders you, team. I'm going to give you my opinion um, on the Raiders, and the, the show is supposed to end. <laughs> I, I, I think coaching, and I'm going to take the Raiders out of it. I think coaching is at a weird middle ground right now there's a fine line between new school football and old school football and the sooner that these teams figure out how to find that balance those are the teams that are going to be successful so that's how i'm going to leave it off thank you for listening to 100x we love you i love you anthony loves you i sure do and if you don't if you don't love us i love you but fuck you and guess what we don't give a fuck (laughs) 